Hawaii. Hawaii. Are you me? Wow. Are you me right now? Wired. Okay, I love this. I'm thrilled. The following presentation was created by Wired. We've quantified your digital footprint so that you can see the impact you've had on the internet. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. I wonder what it means. This is what happens when you Google the Try Guys, all right? What? That's too many. Three very common words. It does not surprise me. <laughs> One billion five hundred forty million. Wait. Yeah, is that right? did it. Yeah. And it only took oh, 0.71 seconds to find that many? Google, you sure are a triumph. Google, you fail. Looks like the first video that pops up is the Try Guys Try Korean Snacks for the first time. Iconic. <laughs> Not exactly. Not especially a big hit. Yeah. Or that great. And next, the Try Guys Try to Make Pants Without Instructions. That's one of our favorite recent videos. Yeah. yeah, so the Without Instruction series is about us doing things without instructions. Yeah. We it's like the Try Guys Without Blank. Titles need to be very literal for us. It writes itself. There's a Try Guys wiki? Wow, we have a it whole says, fan wiki and it's not even just about feet. That's awesome. Wow, that's huge for yeah, us. I had no idea that existed. I have no idea what could be in the wiki. It's probably just that we said. One section that comes up is people also ask what happened to the Try Guys. It was oh a terrible plane crash. What did it happen to us? Click the arrow, I need to know. Are the Try Guys really friends? No, we're lovers. Friends doesn't even begin to describe what we are. We're friends with benefits. I'd say we, we like to think of ourselves more as brothers because friends get into arguments and split up. Brothers get into arguments and stay together. <laughs> Brothers don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I was adopted. Who is the most popular Try Guy? You know, look, it's hard to say who, Eugene. Yeah, quantifiably, Eugene. And qualitatively, Eugene. He has a lot more Instagram followers. I like to think of myself as the most popular <laughs> anyway. That's what I like to think. Who started the Try Guys? Technically, Man. the four of us did it together. I'd say the most common misconception is that uh, we were cast together, but we it was a self-made thing. We found each other and it was really actually, like, I think you could say the audience created the Try Guys. We made a video, it worked, they asked for more, here we are. That's right, who created the Try Guys? You. You did, baby. Oh God. This is a Google Trends graph of the Try Guys searched over time. A, B, and C, three points here. What do we think A is? It's probably the start of us. Yeah, uh, is that what's like the our... date? Oh, you know what though? I bet you that's our motherhood series. Cause look, you see the beginning of the Try Guys. Oh yeah. yeah. So A is gonna be our motherhood series. B is probably when we launched our new company and our new channel. Yeah, and then C has to be our summer of try where a whole bunch of things happened. We went on a 20 city tour. Eugene released a music video coming out called I'm Gay. We also uh, released our book, The Hidden Power of Effing Up. I mean, it was just like the, the biggest, wildest summer of our lives. And a podcast. And a podcast. Overdue for another spike. Yeah. What's going on? Steady decline. Per Google image search, here are some other words associated with the Try Guys. Speedo. Speedo with uh -huh. a photo of Makes me sense. in Target. Tongue. tongue. Oh. That's definitely key. That's me. Oh, okay. I got a freak tongue, baby. <laughs> aesthetic. I am aesthetic. Thank you. Testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> We did a very controversial testosterone test. It is very funny, actually. Any testosterone searches are from uh, alt-right trolls. <laughs> soy, I love that soy is one of our Soy and testosterone. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling you, man, right. there was a huge soy boy moment where they were trying to use us to prove some bull uh, feminization yeah. garbage, and I, you know, from all to hell. We try to combat toxic masculinity through our videos and our work. Uh, sometimes people who are toxic try and fight back. Awesome. But also, we don't care. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, I, look, I think with everything that we do, we try to show that there is no one right way to be a man, to be a person. Uh, and yeah, you can still be tiny and delicate and cute and still be awesome. You can be big and suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magic Mike, yes, I do resemble Channing Tatum mm -hmm. from the face down. Honestly, if you read all of these together, it sounds like a uh, Mad Libs for bad porn. <laughs> We searched Reddit for the Try Guys, and these were some of the top results. Can we guess what they are based on the name of the subreddit? 
r slash beauty guru chatter. Hmm, I think this one is, we recreated uh, some beauty gurus iconic looks. So I bet that's you what- Did you say guru? <laughs> say guru. Gurus. Gu you said guru. You're kind say of guru? saying it like, like a euro uh, meets a guru. <laughs> which is guru. good You're saying beauty guru. Beauty guru. Beauty guru. Beauty guru. Yeah, you said guru. Beauty guru. Say booty guru. Booty guru. There, there we go. go. <laughs> beauty guru. Well, you're right, Ned. All right. Hey. Yeah, yeah, no I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> We went on eBay and found the least expensive and most expensive items when searching the Try Guys. What? I have no idea what they could be. I didn't even know we were on eBay. There's some knockoff, like, Try yeah, Guys Yeah, are these merch. knockoffs or are these, like... Maybe someone is selling, like, a signed hoodie from the tour or something. Hmm. Yeah, they could be reselling Ooh. something. I'm very excited. Let's see what the starting bid is. $200? $200. $200. Probably, like, a signed hoodie? A, a signed, signed copy book? of our book. Oh. oh, wow. Yo, I'm gonna tell you what, you're getting, you're overpaying for that. We're still <laughs> selling them. We still yeah. have them and they don't cost that much. Go to tryguys.com, 50 bucks. They Googled Keith Haversberger and these were some results. There's only 305,000. That feels like drastically less than the, <laughs> the billions of Try Guys, but let's see what we got. That still feels like a lot. That's still a lot. Not this, that's that's a yeah, but I'm worried name. that they start with me because I have the lowest number. <laughs> Why did Keith Habersberger leave worth it? Everybody thinks they kicked me off the show. That's not true. <laughs> I had something else to do. I was very supportive of them. Everybody's like, Keith's a dick. I'm like, not a dick. I was very supportive the whole time. And everybody was real mean to me about it for some reason. I never understood why. So Keith, you chose us over Worth It. I did. Aww. And well, I, I've been regretting it ever since. Have you seen the graph? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's some related image searches of me. I'm excited for that. Keith yeah. Eversberger funny face. Well, which one is it? It's the one that I screenshot. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that might uh, be the screenshot I took and I posted all over Twitter and I was yeah. like, this is my new reaction meme. It's my favorite. Oh, wow. Which I you first did it. I first was using as a reaction meme on our text threads. Yeah, you, you infiltrated were. his Google search. Wow. It's a beautiful funny face. It, it, it shakes me to my core. <laughs> Spiritually, ethically, it is against God's design. Here are some top Reddit search results for Keith Habersberger, sorted of by relevance. Dancing, Dancing with, with the, the stars. stars. No way, am I gonna be on Dancing with the Stars? Are you kidding me? Well, let me dust off some moves. <laughs> <laughs> when searching Amazon for Keith Habersberger, you found the following product. It's probably chicken sauce. Yeah. Chicken sauce. Hey, you can is. buy your own bottle of Keith chicken sauce in a three pack on Amazon.com. I have a line of hot sauces. Uh, they're delicious, they're not too hot. Get yourself some. I yeah. like the burger sauce more. I'm just gonna say it, I think burger sauce is better. I like the original better. It's great on eggs. It's great on sausage, it's great on pizza, it's great on everything. But you know, I'm a big ranch boy. We Googled Ned Fulmer and these were some results. People also ask about me. What is Ned Fulmer's real name? Ned Fulmer. <gasps> no, no, my, I mean, maybe they're asking, yeah. what is my real name? My real name is Edward. When we found out that Ned's that real name was Edward, we were all shocked to the core. Shocked. Inside Try Guys, Ned Fulmer's custom California home from Architectural Digest. My wife and I did a home renovation and to reveal it, we were featured on Architectural Digest. She's very proud of it. It's a yeah, huge it's, deal. It's a big it's a huge deal. deal. I am also very proud of it. Surprise pregnancy announcement to Wes, Ned and Ariel. We just had a new baby. Uh, and when we found out about it, we told our son Wes, you know, we have the Try Guys channel. I have a couple videos on my personal channel. It's mostly surprise pregnancy announcements. <laughs> Some related image searches for me. I, Ned Fulmer, I, I don't know what this one is in reference You have a very to. beautiful eye color. Oh, thank you. Maybe it's from that one picture of you where your eyes are so insane. Oh yeah, that must be it. You know how sometimes you smile for a photo, but then the photo turns out and it doesn't really look right? Full frontal flash me smiling like this. We go with Zach Kornfeld and these were some of the results. 409,000. Took 2.1 seconds, so they really had to work for that. <laughs> Google, was, <laughs> Google was struggling. Are you sure there's not more? No, there's not more. <laughs> Keep looking. This one's from Washington Post. Want to top the box office during a pandemic? Film for free on Zoom and then rent at a theater. This is very exciting. Look, we all have amazing talents and skills. However, I am the only official movie star of the Try Guys. Yes, I was the star of the number one movie in America. Uh, my buddy Eric Tabak had this idea during the pandemic that since there were no new movies coming out, 
we could film a movie, rent out a theater, and then just buy all the tickets again and again and again. So he did that. Uh, and I think with $26,000, it was the number one movie in America that week. Very exciting for me, very depressing for the state of the movie industry. <laughs> I get to say forever that I was the star of the number one movie of America. It's just one of the many things Will Smith and I have in common. We searched Zach Kornfeld on Getty Images. Can you tell us about these? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah! This is me being the doggo and or gimp for Poppy. Uh, Poppy is a friend of ours. She is a wonderful, weird musician. We were hosting the Streamies and she came with uh, three leather bound gimps. Gimps. She was walking them like they were dogs and she was backstage and she was very sad. And I said, Poppy, what's wrong? And Poppy said, well, the producers won't let me bring my gimps on stage. And I said, well, Poppy, I'll do it. And she went, really? And I'm like, yeah, I'm the host. What are they gonna do? It's live, let's do this. They can't <laughs> fire me, we're in the middle of a show. So uh, she put a leash on my neck and I started walking out and I see the producers go like, what the, no. And then they kind of were like, Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> then the following year, they elected not to have a host. Our life is very weird, I'm realizing. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. this alone should be the weirdest moment of my life. I kind of forgot about it. I don't Google myself very much. I'm terrified of seeing what the internet has to say about me, because, you know, I, uh, it's just not comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I, I really have no idea what's going to come up. We Googled Eugene Liang, and these were some results. Oh, Whoa. wow. 12.5 wow. million. That's because you put Eugene Liang in I'm gay. Oh, perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. You don't uh, think it's because Li and Yang are two of the most popular oh, yeah, maybe names that's on it. the planet? That's, maybe that's it. Eugene Liang goes viral cosplaying Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, I think there was actually a lot of press coverage I wasn't aware of of my cosplays. I did uh, cool. Zuko, Azula, and Kiyoshi from one of my favorite American animated series, and people loved it. 15 LGBTQ YouTubers Brie Larson should collab with. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Brie Larson is amazing, and she, I believe, started a YouTube channel. Eugene Liang Movies and TV Shows. Here we go. Comfort Girls. Ah, so this was actually a short film I produced, and it was part of a Asian American film organization that I was a part of, and it was an amazing short film. We've seen it, it's fantastic. It's cool. He's very talented. I'm not a princess, huh? So that was actually a uh, spec music video I made for the artist Marina and the Diamonds, who's amazing. Self-funded it, self-cast it, choreographed it, created this entire 12 minute video. It was me reinterpreting old fairy tales and turning the gender norms on their heads. Here are some of the top Reddit search results for Eugene Liang sorted by relevance. Ah, so this is my coming out video. I still watch this video all the time. Eugene Liang from BuzzFeed slash The Try Guys comes out as gay with a beautiful choreography to one of my favorite Odessa songs posted to r slash late bloomer lesbians. Well, I love that Reddit uh, group. We were going on a tour where my entire section was about being gay and I was about to bring gay pride across the nation and not my, uh, my whole family didn't know I was gay. So I had to make something. And so I uh, basically was gonna do it on my own. And then I was like, why would I do this? Because we have a company. So I was like, okay, I'll put it on the channel and I did it within a month. <laughs> This was an interesting example, and you'll probably see more of this in our documentary, of my public life, especially as a video producer, uh, preceding my private life, and it sort of forced my hand. And so I had to respond to it through my public work. And so it was very emotionally difficult, and I would say that in the end, it was a great excuse to be able to come out to some people I'm close to. But yeah, that's fantastic. I, I really hope that anyone who still comes across this video anew is moved by it or feel something from what I had to say in the moment. And yeah, I'm still incredibly proud of the conversation that it started. I would not advise anyone publishing a multi-million view video to come out to your parents. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but in the end, it worked out really well because I think the impact also helped people I love show how important this is to an entire community. So. Yeah. You know, in the end, it worked out. We searched Eugene Liang on Getty Images. Can you tell us about these images? Oh my. This photo was actually from the first comedy show I was ever part of. And oh, Keith yeah. attended with, with Becky. Yeah. And um, it was basically storytelling from a lot of queer entertainers. Mm -hmm. I actually thought it went pretty well. I, I basically did like a country music redo of my, my childhood. Fun fact, I really love country music. Mm. 
Ah, uh, such tall hair. This was from the Asian Americans end of the year award show. This was the first year I attended. I was honored with breakout male star, which was fantastic. This was, I think, 2016, but I was also honored alongside like Steven Yoon. And I mean, there were actual stars there. I was just, <laughs> I was just like little old me. It was crazy because the Asian American community, especially in Hollywood, are very tight and we're all very supportive. And this is my favorite award show to go to because after this, I made this sort of the um, platform for me to really express a lot of my genderqueer style. Mm -hmm. So the subsequent years, I just got gayer and gayer and gayer. And man, do some of those old Asian guys not know what they're looking at, but <laughs> yeah, you knew I was strutting around. And that was one of the years Mulan herself, Ming-Na Wen, came out to me and said I was a gorgeous unicorn and I cried and I never cry. I was also very drunk because they are also always sponsored by whiskey brands because <laughs> they are run by Koreans and we love whiskey. I feel like that's a pretty good byline for you most of the time. <laughs> really gay and beautiful and also drunk. Mm, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> the internet can be a really divided place. It can be really brutal and scary and volatile, but we always try to put as much good in the world as we can. And I think a lot of these results proved that a lot of good comes back to you. Yeah. I was surprised at how yeah. warm and nice a lot of those responses were. Maybe, yeah. maybe not the soy testosterone stuff. Sure. But they didn't know. They don't know how much we don't care about that. Uh, thank you for having us, Wired. We are the Try Guys. Go check out our movie. And until next time, get that graph higher. <laughs> Keep on Googling us. Keep on Googling. That's how we gave it a try. <laughs>